Did you wake up this morning and find a big bag of zucchini on your doorstep? Well, if you did, it probably means that someone you know was observing <laughs> sneak some zucchini onto your neighbor's porch night, which was just last night. Well, there is so much zucchini this time of the year, and I'm sure you've been grating it up to put into cakes and breads and muffins and dicing it up, adding it to soups and tomato sauces for pasta. Well, today I'll show you just another alternative, a nice, a great way to use zucchini actually and you can see that I'm going to use a larger size zucchini and cut both ends off with a sharp knife. I've already washed this zucchini so it's nice and clean on the outside and I'm not going to peel it but I'm going to slice it into long planks that I can turn into lasagna noodles replacing the pasta that I'd normally layer into a lasagna, or I can roll them up with a filling and make little roll-ups, bake them, and serve them with some tomato sauce. Ooh, it's so good that way. I am going to use my mandolin today to slice the zucchini because I'm not very good at slicing nice even cuts with a sharp knife, but at home you can just use a knife. Now, once I have my planks sliced, I'm going to set them on some paper towels and sprinkle them liberally with salt. And the salt will just help the moisture seep out of the zucchini because I don't want any extra moisture in there. Now these, I salted both sides and they've been sitting for at least half an hour. And now I'm going to just use some clean paper towels and get them nice and dry. You can see all the moisture that has really come out of these. And as the moisture comes out, they become very soft and pliable, so they're easy to roll. After I've dried them with a paper towel, I'm going to set them on a baking sheet that I've coated lightly with some olive oil. I just put some olive oil on a paper towel and coated the whole surface. I'll leave these in the broiler until they just get nice and brown on top. It'll just take a couple minutes. Now I've taken my zucchini planks out of the oven and remember all I did was brush them with olive oil, I put them in the broiler for maybe four or five minutes till they got nice and golden, turned them over, brushed them with more olive oil and then let them get nice and golden again. Now as soon as they cool a little bit, cool enough so that I can handle them, see how soft they've gotten? They're just really nice and soft, easy to roll up or easy to replace as the pasta in your lasagna dish. What I like to do is mix up a little ricotta cheese with some, maybe some mozzarella, and this time of the year there's lots of fresh basil and oregano. You can add to it with some salt and pepper. Just spread it on the plank, roll it up, and then put it in a baking dish with my favorite tomato sauce and just sprinkle a little more cheese over the top and bake it. It's so good. And it's a great way to use some of that zucchini. The recipe and the directions for making zucchini planks will be on our website, www.lakelandptv.org. I'm Sue Doden, and now we're cooking.